Why does the raven know where to go? Uh oh. There goes the horse. Why the hell were you walking? Hells. Oh, the skins of their enemies as a coat. Oh, oh, <laughs> they saw me. Not my best work on how much did you know? I suppose I have full enough practice, but he didn't make it easy. What with all that bloody noise, <laughs> like a drowning cat. I thought he'd never stop. As my father likes to say, a naked man holds few secrets, but the flayed man, the flayed man holds none. Pity he didn't know your father was the Warden of the North. He does now. How much further is it to these foresters? Uh-oh. A day, my lord. Two at most. What was that? My lord? Listen. There. Hear that? I know I heard something. Stay still. Never mind. We've wasted enough time already. If you don't move, they can't see you. Dead. Oh, it's cut open. Ew. Oh. Hey, was that the first food? Confused. Lord Ethan, as I was saying, you are young, and there are those within these walls who are uncertain of your leadership. It's all sort of the same. But three hundred generations of Forester Lords stand behind you. Lord Gerhard the Tall, who founded our house, and your grandfather, Lord Thorin the Bold who seized back the river valley from the White Hills. What did they call my father? Lord Gregor the Good. He was fair and wise, and they courageous call in me. battle. And what will they call me? That is for you to define as the new lord. These were your father's King. people to lead and protect, and now they're yours. But your father did not bear this responsibility alone. He and every forester lord before him chose one man whom they trusted above all others. The Lord Sentinel. Forester traditions demand that a new Lord Sentinel must be chosen. Keep walking, you craven son of a whore. Move. Who that? <coughs> oh. Summon oh. the Lord. We need his judgment. I've done nothing wrong. I was only trying to survive. Lord Ethan. Why why did you kick him? Missed him. Why did you kick this man? 
This Craven is a deserter and a thief. Deserter. This house is doomed. We all fucking know it. Quiet, thief. Eric was supposed to be guarding our weapons, but instead we caught him stealing them. Oh, Two shields shit. and three spears. Why did you do it? Because I've no wish to die. Yes, my lord. I fled. We should all flee. It's not stealing if you're taking what's yours by right. He speaks He's truth. Right. I've a family not to yours. feed. And not two coins to rub together since Lord Gregor left us to rot here. Where's our pay? Our share of bread and wine grows smaller every day. <laughs> Leave the poor man alone. Lord Ethan, I water. know these words are hard, but they're honest. This house is falling. We'll never survive the coming winter. We admit then you admit the crime. to the crime. In front of all gathered here. I am only what this house made me. You cannot expect a man to live on loyalty alone. <clears throat> You'll address him as Lord. Lord Ethan, you must decide the punishment. Lord Gregor always took a thief's fingers. Three of them. Now may not be the time for harsh punishment. The men are on edge as it is. Men need to know they cannot do whatever the fuck they please. Their lord will not permit it. We can send him to the war. A dealing choices? I will decide. Send him to the war. Take his fingers. He's a thief. If you punish me, you'll be punishing an innocent man. Innocent? You just admitted to lord. it. Please, my lord. My family depends on me. Mercy, wall, fingers. Where's kill him? Where the fuck is the kill him option? Take his I, fingers. Ethan of House Forrester, Lord of Ironrath, name you a thief. The price for your crime is three of your fingers. Oh, please, my lord! My lord, please! Please, no! My lord, normally it is. I didn't want to do it. I just wanted to kill you. But I am willing to carry it out. If you I'll do it. I will carry out the sentence. Chop, chop, chop. Take his head off with it. Where's his head? I can't click on his head. I can't click on his head. Chop. Almost got another finger. Don't look at me like that. That was certainly unpleasant, but a lord must meet out punishment when it's due. Not just yourself, of course. Didn't bother me. I did what I had to do, and it didn't bother me. You heard what the thief said. I expect this sort of thing will happen again. But a sentinel can help you in the face of disloyalty. You need someone you can trust by your side. Someone you can rely on, no matter the circumstance. Possessing wisdom. Who would you Who choose? Do you think I should choose? There are two capable men for the role. They both want the job, but neither thinks very highly of the other. How do I decide between them? Talk to them. Solicit the opinion of people close to you. Here. The Bracer of the Sentinel. The Badge of Office. Tonight is your first small council meeting. It would be wise to bestow this Bracer upon your chosen Sentinel then. To show that you are decisive and in control of this house. Your sentinel will wear this for all to see. Thank you for your counsel, Maester. It is my duty. Come speak with me when you're ready to convene the small council, my lord. I'm ready. Let's go. Him. Who wants to fight? 
Nah, you're too weak. Hang out with Mr. Bacon. What? Go faster. Run. What the hell are we doing? Okay. That was that was stupid. Maester. Yes, Lord Ethan. Are you prepared to name your sentinel? Yes. Yes, Maester. I'm ready. Very well. I will convene the small council at once. You may sit. I believe Lord Ethan has reached his decision. Before I name my sentinel, I must tell you. Nothing. Lord Ethan? I'll Many thought anything. either of you would make a fine sentinel, but I have made my decision. Sir Royland de Gore, you will be my sentinel. Gods be praised. You've done well, Lord Ethan. You won't regret this. A poor choice, my lord. Forgive me for saying so, but it's true. Fuck you. I'm gonna kill you. Now, sentinel, what do you have to report of Ramsey Snow? My scouts say he's a day's ride away. We've no time to waste. He'll arrive before any of our allies could be here. Who knows what he's capable of? We need to prepare for the worst. You we don't can scare handle me. Ramsey Snow. He doesn't scare me. The Boltons need our people to harvest the ironwood. Even the bastard Ramsey must understand that. He's not coming here to negotiate. We must answer with the sword. That's bloody suicide. You gamble with the lives of everyone within these walls. Quiet, Tuttle. You're not the Sentinel. I knew this would happen. He cannot be trusted. This is the small council. Shut up, children. Enough! Would my father have stood for this kind of bickering? Neither will I. The Bolton sigil is a flayed man. Force is the only thing they understand. Put every man who can hold a spear or crossbow on the wall and make the bastard fill his boots with piss. He would see it for the empty gesture that it is and have us flayed. We must take a measured approach, my lord. Gentlemen, please. Thank the gods Mira has asked Lady Marjorie for her help. It's not too late for the Crown to intervene on our behalf, but we must have a plan if Mira's efforts are not successful. I trust Mira's judgment. I don't doubt she did everything within her power to help us. You must make your opinion known. Why not make an offering for peace? Come on. Yeah, the wisdom of the Citadel. We can give the Boltons ironwood in exchange for their protection. You must be mad. It's pure folly to just give away the only currency we have to bargain with. Enough! We will fight. My Sentinel is skilled in the ways of war. Our forces may not be at full strength, but our men are willing to take on this fight. I think Ramsay Snow will see that too. They may be willing, but are they able, my lord? My lord, casting aside diplomacy means giving up our best chance to come through this safely. Ethan has made his opinion known, and you will respect his decision. We will fight. 
We will kill them all. Forgive us, my lord. We are, of course, here to serve you, as we served your father. Aye. Well then, let's decide how we shall set the stage for Ramsay's arrival. Fight, fight, fight. You meet him at the gate with as much force as we can muster. Make him wait. Let him gaze upon Ironrath. And when he enters, he'll know it's only because you allowed it. We don't have enough soldiers to strike fear in a madman like Ramsay Snow. Invite him into this hall and meet him face to face. And then kill lord him. Lord to lord. Kill him. Lord Ethan? I will meet him at the gate. Very good, my lord. I shall prepare the men. Men? We hardly have any. It's a foolish plan. That's enough from you, Tuttle. Lord Ethan has spoken. Obey his command. I've faithfully served this house for far too long to sit here and listen to this. Forgive me, my lord, but you are far too young to be the lord of this house. You're likely to get us all killed. Sit down. Sit down. At once. Dog. Apologies, my son. But now that it is settled, we know what we must do. You will meet Ramsay Snow at the gate, and we will not offer our ironwood. No matter what, I will stand beside you, my lord, where your sentinel belongs. Then perhaps we should adjourn. We have to prepare the house. My lord, I have faithfully served this family for many years. Oh well. I... I sent my own nephew to the wall to protect you. Just... remember that. Forgive me. There will always be those who question your leadership. Which is why you need allies you can rely on. Family. Mira has done everything she can in King's Landing, but there are others who can help us. What about your brother, Asher? You want to bring him back? He's a skilled fighter. But what's more, he has the will to fight. A hunger for it. He always protected you and your sister. And we need all the help we can get. Why would you bring him back after you exiled him? He exiled himself. He has no desire to rule. Asher is volatile. But that is his strength too. Do you remember the Miller's boy? How he tormented you? How's that sure? Is that I the other guy? I wanted to intervene, I, uh, but your control? father said, Ethan must fight his own battles. But when Asher saw it, he didn't take a breath. He grabbed the Miller's boy by the neck. That was his first instinct. Asher knocked out half the poor boy's teeth. <laughs> of course, your father was furious. But you were in danger, and there was nothing else Asher needed to know. Asher does not hesitate. He acts, and we need that. You have many fine qualities. But you do not have that anger inside you. I'm not like that. But I don't need to be, do I? No. But you need someone who is standing beside you. Who are you? I'm trying to do what's best for this family. What this family needs. Ethan, let me send Malcolm to Essos. Um, okay. Fine. Malcolm will go to Essos and bring Asher back. Thank you, Ethan. I'm glad you will let me do this. Know that you never stand alone. You are a forester. Mira stands with us, and she may be able to help us yet. Strange key.
uh, just looked at it for like a half a second. Take it. Take it. Take Marjorie? everything. Oh. Lady Marjorie is still with the king. I thought you'd want to know. Thank you. Mira, look. The other day when you asked Lady Marjorie for help, I only spoke out of fear for her. I want to help you if there's anything I can do. Your poor family. I can't imagine how you must feel. Please don't repeat what you heard to anyone. Of course. I never would. Lady Marjorie is always saying how important friends and allies are in King's Landing. Just know, I will be here for you. You heard I nothing. Who that? Someone? No? Just you? No, someone else was there. My lady, uh -oh. I'll leave you to talk. Sounds like bad news. What do you say? What did King Joffrey say, my lady? The king was not inclined to offer help for your family. I'll need this mended. Gods. He said I was too easily swayed. And he reminded me that I am not yet his wife. I allayed his fear. For now. But it will be a long time before I can ask him for anything again. Nothing I said could cheer him. He wouldn't even speak to me when I left him. But my family, they're still in they're danger. Your family isn't the only thing in jeopardy, Mira. My little brother is only seven years old. I'm afraid for him, for all of them. Ramsay Snow is on his way to Ironrath. We got a fight. This is simply not how things are done, Mira. Not in King's Landing. I'm sorry, my lady. <sighs> Soon I will be queen. And maybe then I'll be in a better position to help you. But for now, now, we must both be cautious. I must send a raven. I have to warn my family. If you'll excuse me, my lady. Guess they have a lot of ravens. Milady. Begging your pardon, Milady. I hope I didn't frighten you. How long have you been waiting there? Not long. I was just passing by when I saw you emerge from Lady Marjorie's room. Who the hell are you? I just want you to know. I. I can help you if you'd like. And your family, if you're willing to trust me. I hear all sorts of things. Things How? that could be useful for you. How can you help me? My problems can't be solved by what you might overhear. Which is why you must trust me, milady. You need allies. I'm sorry. I, Who are you? I really must go. Please don't despair. I know people who... Know people. You're in the mob. For the mob. People who'd be willing to help you. What the hell are you? What the fuck are you looking at? Kill you. Man, this episode is long. Where the bloody hell is Duncan? Fuck him if he's angry. What? I'm without uh... King's Landing. I know you'd hoped me oh, would help us, but I'm confident we've enough strength of our own. Your men are ready to act if needed. We will prevail. Our plan is a good one. It will work so long as everyone does their part. Bolton men approaching, my lord. Kill him. 
All of them. Dead. Kill him. What are you waiting for? Something wrong with your gate? Yeah. Not letting you in. Doesn't open for douchebags. Yeah. <laughs> Well, aren't you the little lord? No wonder you can't open the gate. Shall we help you? I'll kill you, motherfucker. Now let me in. Nope. This is a lovely Why, pile cold? of timber, isn't it? Why the hurry? Are you cold? <laughs> you know I am a bit. Fortunately, there's no shortage of wood to burn around here. What? No, Thank what you, the hell? I didn't tell you to open the gate. Why the fuck are you opening the gate? Close it right back on him. No, close it. No. Close, close. Fuck. A token for the new Warden of the North. Let Kill. me guess. Forrester Iron. Carved by our most skilled craftsmen. Ironwood. Doesn't look like much. Don't know what's so special about it. Hmm. I clicked it. <gasps> Not bad. Lord Whitehill, can your lot do this? Given enough time, we could learn. Given enough time, you could do a great many things. But not this, apparently. The hell are you talking? Like the army you have, Lord Forrester. Very impressive. <laughs> Think he's being sarcastic. So gonna kill you. Look at that. More Forrester. Lord Ramsay. Come out where I can see. Why aren't we killing him? Force him to focus on the business at hand. What we is want. it you want, Lord Ramsay? What do I want? Everything. Nothing. We'll see. First. Let's see you bend the knee to my father. Uh. Lord Bolton, Warden of the North. Words are wind. Anyone can Refuse. say they're loyal. I only kneel to the king. Is not the Warden also deserving of your respect? No. But then, I am not my father. Perhaps that is what you meant to say. You see? He's a fucking traitor, just like his father and brother. Here's the thing. I don't care about your loyalty. The Crown, however, wants what you've got. Whatever you've been supplying the Starks for centuries. Ships, shields, chamber pots. I expect you'll do the same for us. My father has promised as much to the King. You wouldn't want to make him a liar, would you? That wouldn't reflect well on me. So long as no one gets in our way, your father will have what he needs. Your silence is not very encouraging, Gonna kill you. little lord. But I will assume you agree. It would be a very bad idea not to. You can't trust a forester. They murdered our men. I'll murder you. It was a forester squire who did it. One Whitehill soldier dead. One Bolton. Yet your man... 
It was justified. He was within his right. They killed his family. His right? He killed a loyal soldier in my father's army. You had me stand out in the wind and muck so you could show off your pathetic little army. That sort of insolence from one of our loyal bannermen will not do. So I've come up with a solution that will benefit everyone. The White Hills will be taking control of your Ironwood from this day forward. What? Nope. what? Nope. Nope. The Ironwood. But... The White Hills are nothing more than up-jump thieves! You can't do that! <laughs> Why not? You know something the White Hills don't? We are talking about trees. You grow them, you cut them down. It can't be that difficult. The Foresters have been tending Ironwood for thousands of years. The White Hills had Ironwood, once, but now those hills are bare. Do you want Ironwood for the next five years, or the next fifty generations? The Little Lord does have a point. We'll try this. Lord Whitehill will take half of your Ironwood, and we'll see who fares better. But my lord... Half of something is better you get than nothing. nothing you had before. You lose. Good day, sir. To ensure there's no trouble, Lord Whitehill will install a garrison of twenty men within your walls. At Ironrath, that we cannot abide. Ethan. They'll help maintain the king's peace. And make sure there's no more trouble. We'll bar the gates. Too late for that. The fuck? Why'd you let him in? You have a man you trust? My son. Griff. Griff? We'll lead the garrison. The seven hells he will, lads. Do make this visit worthwhile. Please, Sir Roiland, don't. Look at this little forester. You're not frightened, are you? Lord Ramsay, please. And you? Are you Lord Ethan's older sister? I'm his twin, my lord. Ah, oh, twins. Well, like the queen and her brother. Well, <laughs> hopefully not just like the queen and her brother. I never had a sister. Always wanted one. Get away. Leave my sister alone. I have an idea. You'll come with me. You can be no. my highborn ward. Lord Ramsay, no. that's enough. Kill him. Do you like hunting? Let her go. She's quite pretty, your sister. We'd get along well. <laughs> I suppose you can stay. Aren't you the bold lord? I'll kill you, motherfucker. No! Ethan! No! What have you done? No! But I don't Ethan! want the bold What the hell? Lord. Far too much trouble. Ethan! 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 My lord! Oh, no! I knew you'd bend the knee eventually. My son. I think we've come to an understanding. Ethan! I certainly feel better about all this. Ethan! Oh, come on. However, the foresters need to keep their end of the bargain. Stop! Ryan! Take the boy as your ward. Oh, no! Kill him if they give you any trouble. Ryan! Lovely meeting, all of you. We'll have to do it again sometime. Somebody help him. Fetch the mace so quickly! You brought this on yourself. Why the fuck didn't we kill them? Stop! Don't let them take go. me! You will not take Stop him! Stop them, please! Ryan, please! Leave no. me alone! No. Ryan! Do something! Ethan? Oh, my son. Your story has begun, next time on Game of Thrones. Ethan sacrificed himself for us all. He saved Talia's life. He'll be remembered as Ethan the Brave. 
This house needs a leader. Lord Ethan named me Sentinel. I will lead this house. My sister asked you to swear loyalty to her son, and you flat out refused. We can't let them hurt Ryan too. We have to stop them. We all gonna die. Stand alone. <laughs> there are those who will fight for us. Those who hold House Forrester above all other loyalties. Those who will not stop until Ethan is avenged. Until Ryan is home again, our house will not fall. We will be ready. Nothing comes without a cost, my lady. Are you prepared for what might happen? I kill you. You win 34.2% left Bowden behind. You win 37% swore loyalty to Marjorie. You win 16% took Eric's fingers. What? Only 16%. 38.9% picked Voiland as Sentinel. What the hell is wrong with people? 49.9% uh, met Ramsey. That was pretty split. Alright, thanks for watching.